Are you looking to save money when you go on your next cruise? Well, stick around because I'm going to tell you 11 ways on how you can do that. Hey, it's KJ. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you 11 things you can bring from home to save money on your next cruise. So first on my list is aloe. And what I mean by aloe is aloe vera gel. I call it aloe. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to call it aloe. So bring aloe on your cruise. Now it goes without saying that you should also bring sunscreen on your cruise, especially if you're going on a warm weather cruise. So let's just say you do bring the sunscreen, but you forget the aloe and you get a sunburn. You're going to wish that you brought that aloe. <laughs> now I'm a bit nuts when it comes to sunscreen application. I have fair skin. I put sunscreen on, especially if I'm going on a cruise and it's a warm weather cruise, I'm going to be putting sunscreen on probably every 60 to 90 minutes. I know it sounds crazy, but like I do not want to be sunburned. I have my fair share of sunburns when I was in high school and college and I learned from my mistakes and now it's like impossible for me to get a sunburn. I either hide from the sun or I am reapplying my sunscreen. That said, my husband is not so lucky. Now, even though I constantly remind him to put on his sunscreen and I'm all over him about like, get your sunscreen on, you know, sometimes he fights me on it. So if he gets a sunburn, typically on the back of his neck or like sometimes on the back of his ears, I bring the aloe vera gel for him. And another tip I have is to put the aloe vera gel in the refrigerator or the beverage cooler. Disney Cruise Line on the Wish, they have a beverage cooler versus a refrigerator, but it still does the same job. So make sure if you do bring the aloe vera gel, which is, that's what I'm telling you to bring, put it in your beverage cooler or your refrigerator. Now you can purchase this on your cruise ship. However, it's going to be at a premium. So if you're not like me, if you're not crazy about putting on sunscreen, you do run the risk of getting a sunburn and you are going to want some relief for that sunburn. So if you don't bring the aloe and then you find yourself with a sunburn and going to the cruise ship gift shop, again, you're going to be paying a premium for that aloe. So do yourself a favor, pack the aloe. You will save yourself some money by not having to purchase it on board. Next on my list, and this is specific to Disney Cruise Line, bring your pirate gear or your princess gear. So Disney Cruise Line does have pirate night on all of their cruises. So some people go like all out, like they wear full pirate costumes. On our last cruise, I made shirts for us. So we had our pirate themed shirts. And then on our next cruise, I did just purchase pirate theme mini ears. So I'm excited to wear those. I just ordered them actually yesterday at the time of filming. So very excited to get those. So Winnie and I will be wearing our mini pirate ears for our next cruise. So bring your pirate gear. You can go all out or you can go just like us where you, you know, just make a shirt or buy a shirt or wear your pirate mini ears, what have you. But just be aware that if you're going on a Disney cruise, they do have a pirate night. And you also might want to bring some princess gear as well. On our last cruise, we did do the Royal Gathering where you got to meet several princesses. Now my daughter just wore a Little Mermaid themed dress, but some kids really like to go all out. So if you know you're going to be meeting Rapunzel or Cinderella or Belle or Moana or Tiana, Make sure if you think your little one will want to wear a dress, bring that from home because they are available in the Disney parks. You might be going on like a land and sea adventure. So maybe you want to get it at the park beforehand, but it's going to come at a price. So I suggest buying your dresses ahead of time and bringing them on your cruise in order to save money. Next on my list of things to bring from home to save yourself money are laundry supplies. So bringing laundry sheets, bringing wrinkle release spray, bringing the little Tide packs if you want to hand wash your items rather than go to the laundromat. This way you save yourself money. If you bring a little Tide packs for the hand washing in the room, you save yourself money by not going to the laundromat. Or if you bring your own laundry detergent, like I said, I recommend those laundry sheets because they're just easier to travel with. And you do go to the laundry room, you can go to the laundry room rather than sending your items out because you, yes, you can send your items out. You can send them to get pressed. You can send them to get washed, but that is at an extra fee. So I suggest bringing those Tide packs to hand wash in the sink, just in case, listen, especially if you have kids, spills happen, things happen. You might just want to be able to hand wash those things before you bring them home. This way you're not bringing soiled clothes home with you. Even if you plan to rewash them when you get home, at least you have peace of mind that they're clean -er or clean and you can pack them away. Or if you just need to do laundry, say you're going on like a 10 day cruise or even like a 14 day cruise, there are some crazy long cruises that you can go on. If you want to be able to do laundry, bring the laundry detergent so that you can do it in the laundry room rather than sending it out. Because rather than sending your clothes out to be pressed for a fee, you can also just spray them when you get on board, you know, get your wrinkles out and hang your clothes up and you're just saving yourself money there. The next thing on my list is a reusable water bottle. So if you don't mind the water on the cruise ship, definitely bring a reusable water bottle. You can fill this up and bring it back to your room. That way you always have water in your room to drink, especially at night when it's the middle of the night and you might get thirsty. It's nice to know on your nightstand you have that bottle of water. 
You can save money by not purchasing a bottled water on board or ordering room service for a bottle of water. Now room service is free on Disney Cruise Line. Most people do tip, so you also save yourself money that way rather than having to tip somebody to bring you a bottle of water, you have your reusable water bottle in your room already. The other thing you can do, let's say you don't like the water on the cruise ship, you can also bring bottled water from home. So depending on what cruise line you're going on, you may wanna check with them what you are allowed to bring, but that way you already have your case of water. So especially if you're going on a short cruise you may only need one case of water and depending on how many people you're going with one case of water might be enough this way again you have peace of mind you have water in the room already do yourself a favor bring the bottled water from home or bring yourself a reusable water bottle Going along with beverages from home or containers for beverages from home, bring an insulated travel coffee mug. Now, John and I don't drink coffee, but I would still recommend bringing one of these. And to go with your coffee or coffee mugs, bring single use coffee creamer, especially if you like flavored coffees, you know, bring your fancy creamer, powdered creamer from home. Now this tip is really for my avid coffee drinkers. Again, John and I don't drink coffee, but we are going on a cruise with my sister and her family, and she and her husband are big coffee drinkers. So they will be bringing an insulated travel coffee mug and some creamers. You can get coffee at the buffet and you can get coffee at dinner, but listen, some people really like their coffee and they want to have their fancy coffee. Again, I can't speak to this because I'm not a coffee drinker. So if you're someone who wants to go to Cove Cafe on a Disney cruise, you do have to pay for the coffee there. But let's just say you get coffee from the buffet. You want to put it in your mug so that it's insulated, it stays warmer and bring your own creamer so that you can have the flavor that you want. My sister really likes French vanilla. She gets the packets, that's her thing. So she we will be bringing those on our upcoming cruise. Now, I recommend bringing the travel mug versus getting coffee on the ship because you just have a paper cup on the ship. So this way, if you have your insulated mug, you know your coffee is going to stay warmer longer. And I just feel like it gives you more freedom to bring it around. You don't have to worry about it spilling as much because usually if you have a good mug, you know, you're less likely to have it spill versus having a cup and just things get knocked over and what have you. So for all you avid coffee drinkers, bring your own insulated coffee mug and then bring those creamers because again, those specialty coffees, they add up. So listen, treat yourself. If you wanna have one a couple of mornings while you're on your cruise, go for it. But at the same time, if you're going on say like a seven to 10 day cruise, maybe you get your specialty coffee, you know, half the time and then you save money by using the coffee that is included in your cruise price and you put it in your own mug and you use your own creamer so that it tastes, you know, to your liking rather than spending money on those specialty coffees. Next on my list is snorkeling equipment. If you are someone who cruises regularly or you plan to cruise regularly, especially to those tropical locations, getting your own snorkeling gear is a good investment and it will save you money in the long run. If you plan to go on these tropical cruises year after year and you like to snorkel, why not just purchase these snorkeling gear one time rather than rent it every single time? The other thing I want to throw out there, and listen, if you want to rent your snorkel gear, by all means, go ahead. But you know, especially after the pandemic, I feel like sharing snorkeling gear, something that goes in your mouth, I'd personally rather have my own snorkeling gear and just spend the money on it and you know use it year after year rather than renting it knowing that someone else has used it. So just gonna throw that out there. Again, you know, if you wanna rent it by all means, but just wanted to throw that out there. So <laughs> if you are someone that does plan to go snorkeling more than once, buy the snorkeling gear, it will save you money in the long run. The next thing you can bring from home that will save you money is alcohol. So on Disney Cruise Line, they allow you to bring two bottles of wine per person, 21 and over. You can also bring a six pack of beer as well. Again, per person, 21 years and older. And if you don't get a bottle of wine that has a screw top, you can ask for a corkscrew free of charge from your cabin steward. And you can open your bottle of wine in your room. If you do bring it to the main dining room, a lot of cruise lines do charge a corking fee. So in order to save money, make sure that you request the corkscrew in your room so that you don't have to pay the extra fee. The next thing you can bring from home to save money is a sun hat or a baseball cap. I never go anywhere without one of these. I have one in my car at all times. I always have a baseball hat in my car at all times. Now you should definitely bring this from home because if you're going on a warm weather cruise and you find yourself out in the sun, you're like, oh, I wish I had brought a hat. It's not going to be cheap to buy it on board and it's not going to be cheap to buy it on land either. So do yourself a favor, bring your baseball cap, bring your sun hat from home because this way you'll save yourself a ton of money by not having to buy it once you're already on the cruise. 
The next thing you should bring from home to save yourself some money is a luggage scale. Now I have not used a luggage scale in years. I am a carry-on only type of gal. We are a family of five and yes, I pack everything in a carry-on. I have three little ones, four and under, and yes, I pack everything in a carry-on. However, oddly enough, when I was single and traveling, I always checked my bag and I always had a scale with me. This way I could adjust things accordingly and not have to pay the extra fee if my luggage was over the weight limit. Another great thing to bring from home that will save you money are Ziploc bags. As a mom of three, I always have Ziploc bags and I always bring Ziploc bags in varying sizes. But even if you don't have kids, bringing Ziploc bags is a great thing to bring with you to save money. There are so many things you can use with Ziploc bags. One example is just if you have a wet bathing suit and you don't have a wet dry bag, you can throw your bathing suit in there and just have peace of mind that your bathing suit is not going to get the rest of your luggage wet. But one of the reasons I like to bring them on a cruise is because if you are going to the buffet and you're going back to your room, rather than pay a fee to have a room service, Again, on Disney Cruise Line, room service is included in your price, but you know, tipping does cost extra. What I like to do is bring my Ziploc bags, get some cheese, get some crackers because my kids get hungry. So I like to have those little snacks with me for them back in the room. I just take a plate when we get to the buffet and before we leave, I take that plate, I get a few snacks, I bring them back to the table, put them in the Ziploc bags and bring them back to the room. That way, you know, later that night or if we're, you know, right before dinner, we're like a little bit hungry, but you know, it's not time for dinner yet. I pull them out, the kids have something to munch on or I have something to munch on. So Ziploc bags come in handy and they will save you money just by being able to pack those snacks with you. I feel like toddler moms here will really get this one. <laughs> And last on my list is a first aid kit. Bring whatever medications you think you, your spouse, your kids, your parents, whoever is going with you, and make sure you bring the medications that you think you will need. Your over-the-counter meds, whatever you guys need, make sure you bring it because there is a doctor on board and there is medicine available in the gift shop, but it comes at a cost. So bring that stuff from home, bring your Dramamine from home, bring your pain medication from home, whatever you need, make sure that you bring it. And again, don't forget, if you have little ones, make sure you bring the children's version of that so that you don't have to buy that at the gift shop because again, it's not going to be cheap. So that is my list of 11 things to bring from home to save yourself money on your next cruise. What do you guys think? Do you have any other items that you like to bring on a cruise in order to save yourself money? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps support the channel. If you're new and you like the content, I would love to have you subscribe. I've got a ton of cruise content coming your way. I also have some Disney World content coming your way. And if you guys made it to the end of this video, leave me a blue heart today because I always like to see who sticks around to the end. And with that, I will see you guys real soon. Bye.